glider pilots revel in telling you they do it quietly. But all of the UK's estimated 80,000 gliding participants say that it's the most graceful way to fly. Unsettled weather in Wiltshire threw a blanket of cloud around Keevil Airfield, the venue for the 2010 Inter-Services Championships. It meant competitors were grounded and only the brave or the foolish would chance their luck taking to the sky with storms forecast. Retired Air Force pilot Kevin Atkinson still laughs in the face of danger and I agreed to keep him company. Um, parachute makes a good cushion, but a cushion makes a lousy parachute. Many sports that rely on decent weather are often overlooked as being somewhat lightweight. Now gliding might be dismissed as a leisurely pastime, but it's very physical and mentally demanding. Pilots are always looking to see where the next thermal is to keep them airborne, and with tasks lasting anything up to five hours, then there's the physical strain on the body as well. Gliding competitions see pilots race each other around a pre-plotted course referred to as a task. These tasks can cover vast distances, meaning crews can be in the air for hours at a time. There is also a handicap system so different types of glider can race each other. As well as navigating their route, competitors must stay airborne. This means they're always on the lookout for sources of lift, either from thermals or from the topography from the ground below. A memory card on board records the journey. The information is then downloaded onto a computer to determine which pilot was the quickest around the course. With so much action, why is it many service personnel have perhaps shied away from the sport? People have seen flying and aviation in, in the military um, as the preserve of air crew, but, at, but actually the, one of the prime aims of the RF Gliding and Soaring Association is to promote um, gliding and soaring to personnel who are normally employed on the ground. Getting onto a gliding course could not be easier once you've approached your local physical education officer. The courses are five days in length, they're residential at Halton. Uh, you'll be put into a small team of uh, five other people that might be any rank, any experience, any, any age. Uh, and if the weather's good, uh, all things going well, you could be solo by the end of the week. There are a number of forces gliding clubs dotted about the country, including RAF Halton, Wattersham in Suffolk and Portsmouth. The inter-services competition did eventually get underway. The Army won the title for the first time since 1959. Julian Evans, Forces News, Wiltshire.